I'm back. I'm back in the States. I'm back home. Waiting on my luggage at LAX. What's going on with y'all, man? Just checking in with y'all, letting y'all know I'm here safe. I'm back. What's up? I'm back. Seems like I've been going for a long ass time, man. I was out of the country for a week and it felt like a long time. First, I gotta say, I had a great time in Jamaica. Had a real good time out there. What's up, keeping up with Sam? How are you? What's up, Agent? I look refreshed. I am, man. Should I? Well, I needed that. I needed that. I'm recharged and I'm ready. What's up, Q from the shop? What's up, brother? Yeah, I got to talk. I do want to apologize for all passengers arriving on flight 2172 on, from Houston, Texas. Hold on. As you can see, the, the carousel is jammed right now. At this time, hold on. The, the last call that I received is going to be right. running in 20 minutes. Yeah, so I'm ready, man. I'm refreshed. It will take 20 minutes. I'm ready to get back on the grind. We do apologize for the inconvenience. How's the game for the young players? Yeah, I've talked about that college bribery situation. I've talked about that before. And I'm going to do my broadcast tomorrow, my main show. I'm going to do that tomorrow. But I want to speak on something. OG partner of mine, Ron New from the Bay. We're my Bay Area people. My dude, Ron New. is permitted in designated areas only. Please refrain from smoking while walking throughout the building. All right. Now, you know, I didn't get to read. I wanted to read on the trip, but I didn't get to read any books. I was running around the island so much. The, the video about the weed tool was funny. Yeah. Uh, shout out to my Bay Area people. But listen, man. Listen, listen. While I was out there in Jamaica, you know, my phone reception was kind of janky. I couldn't really get any phone calls. I couldn't get any phone calls while I was out there in Jamaica. And as you saw when I was doing my stream, sometimes the streams were real janky. My man, Ron New, Prince Diamond, OG player, he was trying to get in touch with me. Shout out to Gooch. He was reaching out for Gooch. Okay, let me see if my bag's over here. Y'all bear with me. Okay, my bag ain't here. Okay, but yeah, listen, listen, listen. My dude, Ron, Ron New, OG player from the Bay. Old school gangster, man. Legendary dude. I've been knowing Ron for years. But Ron was trying to reach out to me. And I don't know, he might have been trying to call me. A lot of folks were calling me, but I just couldn't answer the phone. But my man, Gooch, shout out to Gooch. He's he's. He's clicked in with Gooch, so Gooch was trying to reach out to me since Saturday, reach, reach out to me since Saturday. I wasn't getting his messages, though, and it was almost frantic, like they were, Ron was trying to get in touch with me. Oh, go ahead, dear. Ron was trying to get in touch with me. Ladies because, and gentlemen, if you have cards, because Ron was coming down that lane, and he wanted to we'll talk to me about that Michael Jackson situation, because Ron family. Newt was clicked in with that. Ron Newt was clicked in with the Jackson family. And, you know, Ron had did an interview with Vlad, with Vlad and he talked about how they offered him the inquiry years ago. Offered him. You don't hear me always talking in the back. Man. Hold on. Okay. Sorry about that, man. All this noise in the back. But Ron talked about how the National Enquirer offered him $200,000 to lie and say that Michael Jackson touched his kids because his children... The Neutrons, they were signed to Michael Jackson's label when they were kids. Got it? Y'all feel me? So Ron turned the money down. He wasn't down with that. And, you know, with all this stuff going on about Michael Jackson, Ron was coming down to L.A. I think he was going to do something with Vlad, but he wanted to get with me first. He was trying to reach out to me first because he wanted to, to be on my broadcast first and share some stuff. And what Ron wanted to tell me, according to my brother Gooch, Ron was recently offered more money from people connected with Oprah to tell more lies on Michael. It's the first time y'all hearing this, and this is what was being relayed to me. This was all happening this week. 
yesterday, Ron mysteriously died. Ron died yesterday. Ron died yesterday, and we we call it around, and no, nobody even knows the cause of death, man. Nobody knows the cause of death. Oh, good. So, the people feel a certain kind of way about this thing right now, man. People are feeling a certain kind of way about it, but nobody knows the cause of death. Nothing. From what I understand, um, family came home and he was dead. Yeah. Yeah, man, wrong. Dead. They found him dead yesterday. Yeah, Ron New died. Yeah, Ron, he died, bro. Yeah, Ron New died yesterday. Ron New died yesterday, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't that shit crazy? Yeah, that, he was a real one. He was a solid one. His brother, 69 years old, man. So, you know, we feel in a certain way about that shit, man. We, we, we really feel in a certain way about that. So, you know. But he was damn sure trying. He was frantically trying to get in touch with me. And again, like I said, I just got back. I literally just got back in the States a few minutes ago. I'm still at LAX waiting on my bag, man. But yeah, I, 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 that's just been weighing heavy on me because I wanted my brother. You know, he was really trying to holler at me, and I wish I could have could have got to him so he could say what he wanted to say, and I could get the stuff out in his own words, you know? But nigga, that's crazy as hell. But yeah, my man Gooch and them, they told me that um, some people who was affiliated with Oprah reached out to him with more money trying to get him to lie some more on Michael Jackson and it probably has something to do with all this this pet bullshit ass documentary you know yeah I'm watching my back you know but it is what it is man. man that shit is crazy this is my bag right there but look I'm uh when I get in my, my, my ride man I'll chop it up with you guys in a minute man so I'll be back on What's up, guys? How y'all living? I'm back. What's going on with y'all? What's up, the perfect pillowcase? What's going on? What's up, Valentina? What's up, Super Jesus or Super Jesus? What's up, I'm back. What's up, Luma? Hey, what's up, Gooch? Shout out to Gooch. What's up, Lisa? Gooch, I want to get you on real quick, Gooch. If you don't mind, Gooch. If you can go on live, Gooch, that'll be... Okay. Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm back. Sorry about that. People were saying... I was talking to my brother, Gooch, and people were saying that the live stream freeze, froze. It froze. All right, can you guys see me? We good? All right, so you guys can see me and everything is good. Okay, so Gooch, let me get Gooch back on. Gooch, hop back in the room and I get you back on. What's up, Be Real All The Time? All right, so you guys see me pretty good, all right? So I'm waiting on Gooch to hop back in. Yeah, yeah, because we were talking. And I didn't, I saw people saying that it, it paused. All right, so waiting on Gooch to get back. Oh, there we go. All right, let me get Gooch back in here. And let me know if everything is seen all right, all right, all right, man. I'm I'm here solo. I'm on here solo. Okay, yeah. Every time I try to go on with with Gooch, it starts freezing up. Oh man. Okay, so you guys can see me, right? Yeah, yeah, I wanted my brother Gooch to chop it up, but, um, you know, Facebook, and from what I understand, look, and I've been on the plane all day, I've been on the plane all day, so Facebook and Instagram, not Facebook, but uh, Instagram, and um, I think they said Facebook too, both was tripping, all right, we good, y'all can see me, y'all can hear me, okay, 
Yeah, so I'm, uh, I got to get Gooch on tomorrow. Um, I might even have Gooch call into my YouTube show. When I do my YouTube show, I'll probably have Gooch call in then. Man. Yeah, I'm good, man. I just got back. You say I'm... What's up? Yeah. Yeah, the concert that Buju, Buju Banton, yeah, but it was, the concert was already sold out, man. I mean, they sold out a stadium. That brother had, he's performing at a stadium out there, and they sold that out. Man. Hey, Facebook is for old people. <laughs> the Inglewood Gooch. Peanut dinner babies, they're good. I didn't bring any sour sauce, but I'm gonna order some. I love that sour sauce, man. I love that sour sauce. See where my limo driver's going. Where we at, brother? Let me see. Okay. Okay. How do you lift a band from Twitter? I don't know. What's up, Sydney, Australia, in the house? What's up, everybody over there in Germany? Shout out to Germany. Yeah, man, that's just crazy about Ron Newt. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. So Ron was trying to come on down here, and he was going to reveal a lot of more stuff. A lot more stuff. I'm sorry. He was going to reveal a lot more stuff when he came down. See, Jamaican Rick got a fan base. Yeah, people want to meet Jamaican Rick. Much love from the UK. Shout out to the UK. Yeah, man, shit's been crazy. You know, a, a, a mob boss out there in New York got shot today. It was either today or yesterday. Somebody with the, um, was it from the Gambino crime? Somebody, he was clicked in with the mob, and they blasted his ass over in Staten Island. They peeled his cap all the way back. They did a mob hit on his ass. Like, damn. What's up, good shaman? Yeah, man, it was some mafioso cat, some mob-connected cat um, at his home in Staten Island. Well, they pulled up on him and peeled his cat back. Love from Ocho's Rio and Ocho Rios. Shout out to Ocho Rios, man. They had a great time out there in Jamaica. Yeah, man. Yeah, Ron Newt is Jay Valentine's dad. Yeah. Ron he was trying to reach out, and uh, you know, I, I couldn't couldn't really communicate while I was out there on vacation like that. And um, the man wanted to really tell a lot of stuff connected with this whole Michael Jackson thing. Yeah, man, there's a lot of stuff going on out here. I don't know how you got got killed in Vegas too. Wow. session. Go we'll live and get up and right up. Man, we're talking about some real shit right now, man. Yeah, we're talking about some real stuff right now. Ain't nobody, yeah, we ain't on that, man. We're talking about some real shit. See, there's a time and place for everything, and y'all gotta get your minds right. Yeah, we're talking about some real stuff right now, bro. Yeah, I did want to have him on ISM. I did want to have Ron on ISM. I've been wanting to get Ron on ISM for a minute. I just kept kind of pushing it back and procrastinating about it because he's up in the Bay and, you know, like, when he was going to come back down to L.A., you know, that's when I wanted him on, but he was trying to let me know he was on his way down here. Eric Henson, yeah, yeah, everybody, that dude, Wade Robson, man, everybody's spilling the beans on dude, and, and Ron Newt was going to spill the beans, too. And Ron, he keeps receipts. You know, Ron wrote a book back in the day called Bigger Than Big, talking about his life. So Ron, you know, we've been doing this book for a minute, man. Yeah. It, 
some, you know, there's some real nefarious people behind that whole Michael Jackson thing. Yeah, there's some real nefarious people behind it. I've heard stories about Ron from way back in the day. I remember before my time, how he was looking down. But again, you know, Gooch and those guys were telling me Ron was trying to let me know. And this is what I'm going to have Gooch talk about tomorrow. That some folks connected with Oprah was trying to reach out to Ron and throw some more money at him so he can tell lies on Michael. And Ron just wasn't going to do that. Ron, Ron ain't about to do that. I heard they found some kind of loophole to sue Michael again. Yeah, man, this is they, they're doing their damnness to try to get a piece of that that estate. They're trying to get that estate, so they're trying this slander attack. It really backfired. It didn't really work like they wanted it to. So you know they're doing they they pulling out everything they can pull out. Academics is that, but he lives here. <laughs> yeah, my 
Well, when you get here, that's when they swole up. They get all chunky when they get back here. You need all this Monsanto covered food. No, no, I'm not in Jamaica now. I'm back home. We have the UFC top fighters in Nigeria. Golden Crust. Oh, man. That's my man Carl introduced me to Golden Crust. Oh, that, that was the business. Oh, man. It was burning up. Well, you know, it was, um, the first few days was cool. Um, well, when I went to Kingston, it was real, real hot in Kingston. And the last day of Jamaica got real hot. What's up, Taylor? It's 2 a.m. there. Where are you at, um, where you at, Taylor? Yeah, man, I wanted to go to the Buju concert, man. That's what everybody's talking about out there. Yeah, I went to Spanish Town. I went all over. I've been all, I just... This time I went all over Jamaica. I, I, I went through Ocho again, St. Anne's, Spanish Town, Kingston. So I got to look at the whole island. Um, we, I think we passed by Moore Town. And um, I took some, some pictures of some of the monuments there. I love those statues they have out there. I wanted to go to Nanny Town. That's the place of Nanny of the Maroons. Now, I didn't eat the oxtail because I don't eat beef. Um, I wanted to go to the Maroon Town, and they were telling me about that. I wanted to go there. Yeah, you got people still living like maroons there. Yeah, the beef patties, yeah. I didn't get that. Again, I don't eat beef, but I ate, um, I, I was killing that jerk chicken, rice and peas, festival, um, hockey and salt fish, some bammy. I was eating that bammy, bammy bread. Y'all look happy. Y'all, man, I had a blast out there, man. I absolutely loved it. Jabari and Polite was showing, man. Little shout out to both of them brothers, man. They're, they're both going to be in Hidden Colors 5. Um, they're both phenomenal. Polite is spitting some hot fire in Hidden Colors 5. I, I ran into Polite at a party out here um, a couple of weeks ago. Shout out to Polite. That's my brother. And um, you guys going to be introduced, for those who don't know, Brother Jabari. And he's spitting so much hot fire at HC5. He's in there a lot. Brother Jabari is a great scholar, and he's very prominent in HC5. So we got a lot of new faces in there. Yeah, my man Rizzo is in there. He's very prominent. He's in there a lot. Yeah, Jamaican Rick. <laughs> Shout out to Jamaican Rick. Man, I left much about mine. We had a, a stopover in Chicago. I think it's at the Chicago airport tore my luggage up. I just got my luggage back. The handle broke off. What the do they be doing? Man, my luggage is, they told them, my, I can't even use my luggage no more. Them dudes at the Chicago airport fucked my luggage up. Man. Like they were throwing my luggage up on the wall. That's my brother, man. Yeah, I spoke about the Westbrook thing. I spoke about that yesterday. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, hold on. Damn. Hold on. Ah, oh, bear with me. Hold on. Uh, oh, sorry about that. Sorry, somebody trolling in the room. Yeah, I know. I had to. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I blocked it. He's getting annoying. Just saying dumb shit for attention. Man, I think they stole my cologne in Chicago too. 
because I, I had some cologne and uh, it must have been in my bag and by the time it got back to Jamaica, it wasn't there. Okay, there. And also I left some clothes, I bought some clothes for my sons in Jamaica. I bought some, some real cute Jamaican jackets for my boys. I made a mistake and left it on the plane when I got off in Chicago and I tried to get them to look for it, but the plane had already left and whatever. So if you see some niggas in Chicago squeezed into some kids Jamaican jackets, tell them I said you're welcome. All right. Chicago. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, when my bag got back from Chicago, they beat my luggage up. My luggage was still up. Man. But yeah, man, y'all gotta go visit Jamaica if you can. It's, the prices are very reasonable. Um, you can stay at a hotel and it's all inclusive, so you get most of the hotels in like Ocho Rios and, um, um, and Montego Bay are all inclusive and they're very reasonable. So you just go and you ain't got to worry about buying food. You got the swimming pools and the, the ocean and you know, you can really enjoy yourself. Yeah, man, it's a beautiful place. No, I'm not riding, I'm in the car, but I'm riding. Airline will give you new luggage. Yeah, nice hotel. It's beautiful out there. I didn't do the sugar cane this time. But man, I was killing that jerk chicken, man. Man, you know. What I like about it, different places, they make it their own different way. So you'll go to one spot, get jerk chicken, you go to another spot, they didn't put their own little flavor on it. You get something out there on the streets, they put their own their own flavor on it. So that's what I like. You haven't been in Jamaica in years, yeah. Like barbecue, yeah, yeah. Ron knew, yeah, that's another thing. Ron was, um, you know, he was suing the people who made Empire because, you know, he was saying that was based on his life. They jerk chicken is addictive, yeah. Hell yeah, that street food is the best out there. I really hate the fact, I, I really wanted to go to that Buju concert out there. That's going to be huge because that's Buju's first time performing out there since he got released. You know, Buju was in jail out here. You know, he was in jail out here, so that's his first time performing. Nicole, two one 
What's my opinion on the R. Kelly interview? My thing is we got to get off that R. Kelly shit. Black people, we got to get off that R. Kelly bullshit. We really got to get off that because, see, what they do, they do this double-edged justice thing where we'll, they'll pile up and we're supposed to dogpile on R. Kelly. And what happens is they start setting these janky precedents to punish all of us. You understand? There's too many other predators out there for us to keep focusing on some damn R. Kelly. I ain't doing that. Because what happens when they start doing these draconian laws and making up all of these, I might not say so, laws and throwing them at us, and then we start complaining, and what they're going to say is, well, damn, it's the black people wanted them laws. They wanted them because of R. Kelly. They want, just like they did with, with crack. They'll get a bunch of sambos to sit up here and talk down on drug dealers or whoever, and then they'll start these draconian laws where they're locking everybody else up, and then they start blaming, well, the black leaders wanted us to lock them up. The only way, the only reason we did it is because black people wanted us to lock them up. See, they, they play that game. So y'all, y'all, with the three strikes, exactly, y'all stop that. We got to stop co-signing all of that stuff. And, and, and doing it in a flagrant way. You know, you got to watch that. Bill Clinton did that, too. Because they don't do that with their own folks. They don't sit up and, man, hell yeah, they need to go to jail, man. You need to throw the to jail lock them. See, they, they egg you on because they know that you like attention, so they give people a platform to do that. Oh, yeah, Terry Crews, yeah. Terry Crews is out here apologizing. He... He didn't apologize directly to me. He said, I'd like to apologize to all the black men that I accused of something, something. But I know it was directed towards me because I told him and I warned Terry, all that butt dancing, they gonna turn on you. And they sure enough turned on him. They turned on his ass and now he's out there by himself and he's trying to ease back over here in black society. I told him. Yeah. But yeah, Clinton and all those guys, Hillary, all that super predator stuff. And let me tell you who else was on that super predator stuff. Joe Biden was on that. That crime bill. I think Joe Biden. What the hell is it? Joe Biden was on that too. Yeah, Joe Biden was on that. Yeah, we got this thing, and other, you know, this other groups don't do that. They don't be out there showing, oh, he need to go to jail, somebody need to go to jail. They don't do that. See, we do that. It ain't about justice, it's all about showing out. And we gotta cut that stupid shit out. talking about, oh, they, they didn't know the damage those bills were going to cause. Yes, they, they were adamant about those bills. They knew exactly what would happen with those bills that they passed. Yeah. Real talk, these other people, they keep their problems in-house. They're not running around there yelling about how their people need to go to jail, just like these all these people caught up in that college scam scandal. You don't see a lot of people talking about how they need to all go to jail. They're not sitting up there gloating and high-fiving. They are, they're caping for them, explaining for them. See, we got to get on code like that. We got to get on code, man. We got to stop being so goddamn stupid and childish. Yeah?
Yeah, they get no chuckers ass with finally because it's racism and sexist remarks. so much. We ain't got to get out there and be out there yelling with Gloria Allred and all that. Those are the last people that we need to be clicking up with, attacking anybody. You think Gloria Allred and these people give a shit about you? Or girls or anybody else? Y'all stop that. Stop showing out so damn much. Because what y'all doing is inadvertently assisting them into harming us. Again, they treat us like one big group. There, you don't see nobody out here talking about how Harvey Weinstein need to go to jail. You don't see that. In fact, they're quietly trying to keep him out. You there? Look at my wife in here. Look at Lexi. Everybody say what's up to my wife Lexi. Lex to the E. Everybody say what's up to my wife Lexi. I'm going to hurry my ass up. I'm in the car, sweetie. And Alexi, did you order me food? Yeah, I'll say what's up to my wife. She's in here stalking my ass. Alexi, did you order food, dear? up instead of other groups and there's nothing wrong with that at all there's, that, that ain't even nothing to argue about the code is the leader real talk change your status stuff that's nothing you don't need to do all that all that changing your status that's that's a crock of bullshit that's why they can't point to anywhere where that works you notice when people start talking about we need to change your, your name and change the status you can't point to anywhere where that works see a lot of people be doing that more science temple stuff and what you need to do is change your status because we are the original moroccans and then they just start talking about putting on the fez and then claiming indigenous more status. And do you know how many Moors in jail? <laughs> it's a whole gang of them in jail. So that that proves it don't work. You talking about you indigenous, but your ass in jail. How they can't do nothing to you, but you indigenous. You gonna make a left at the light, brother. Oh, yeah. They talking about they indigenous, but they locked up like a mother. in jail. Malachi, you all tried that. He tried that indigenous Moor defense, and he got a hundred and some years. A lot of the brothers in the, the El Rukin gang, they, um, 
they claim more status and they're in jail. If that don't work, you think you're going to stop these races by putting on a fez? They don't care shit about that, dude. Yeah, you see a few of them, what they do, they get some... They might get a couple of parking tickets, some little weak cases, and they go in there and talk in circles, and some judge might humor them, and they start talking in circles. Well, I am not indigenous to this land because I'm a property of Turtle Island. And, you know, they talk in circles. <laughs> and one or two judges might humor them, and, but then some judges be like, look, shut your ass up or you're about to go to jail right now. <laughs> I ain't trying to get all that they can make the law up as they please and that's what you need to understand they can make the law up as they please that's... <laughs> this is a, they'll give you more time yeah anyway let me get up here in the crib to see my beautiful queen I haven't seen my beautiful queen in a week so somebody is gonna get some jerk sauce tonight. Speaking of jerk chicken. <laughs> Alright, but I'm gonna holler at y'all tomorrow, man. Peace.